I think we try to inject a little bit of fun and humor into the class. Uh, most of the labs are created with devices that Heather and myself have traveled the world with. Um, so there's a lot of real life artifacts to be uh, found and we try to keep things fun and light. Honestly, it's the student feedback. Um, they're very excited to find the evidence. I like to hear from them after class to let us know that things have gone well. Um, I also really like to learn from them. Um, I don't think I've ever been in a class where someone hasn't offered up some really good information that's been useful to me in my career as well. It's a really great course because I don't know anyone that's in forensic investigations today that won't have a cell phone come across their desk at some point in time. Um, what we really like to stress about this class is that there are many tools available to do mobile device forensics. They are not all created equal, and even the ones that do a great job can sometimes overlook data. They're a great starting point for finding evidence, um, but what we really, we really want to get across in the class is how the tools are interpreting that data for you and how to go and do the same thing manually. Uh, many times you may have um, maybe a lapse in funding or your tool breaks or um, you are you know, on a job someplace without you know, your $10,000 toolkit available to you. You can do the same um, techniques that these tool vendors are able to do for you manually and that's what we like to teach the students in the class.